Well, I did, and it's going. Oh, sorry. Baka. All right. <laughs> All right, what is up, Warhawks Army? It is the Iron Man here. My wife, Sharania, is behind the camera. Yes, because the Baka can't do jack shit. And we also have the Juggernaut here. And we are bringing you the Loser Challenge for WWE Payback 2016. For once, it's not Sharania. I know, it's weird! You know, I was going to end up actually eating spicy chocolate again, but it was actually a homemade um, local chocolate. I, uh, I'll tell you about it when I lose, because I know I will eventually. Yeah, and that we can ha we can mention by name, because we'll post they're links not going to give a shit. <laughs> well, we're going to post links to them. So. Yeah, but even if we didn't, they wouldn't no, give a shit. No, I'm posting links. You're posting well, links Yeah, them. obviously, but again, like I said, they wouldn't give a shit even if we didn't. Anyways. Anyways, no. This time the loser was the Juggernaut. Harry which, Armpit. Which, as per our previous agreement means he has to watch an episode of Power Rangers, or in this case too, we had discussed it, he already agreed, um, it will actually be the season finale of Power Rangers in Space, I'm not gonna, you know, go into much detail, because you, anyone who's a fan of Power Rangers probably already knows, well, I mean, hell, I could probably mention it by name, as long as I ain't showing it on camera, they probably won't give a shit. Because we mention shit by name all the time, and as long, like, as long as we ain't showing it on camera, they probably won't give a shit. It's the two-part Power Rangers in Space season finale, Countdown to Destruction. Now, a bit of backstory on this. This was actually supposed to be the final season of Power Rangers. The, uh, the, review, the whole Power Rangers Turbo was received very poorly, so they gave them one more season to wrap it all up. But... As, hap as has happened a lot with, with Power Rangers over the years, the, f uh, the studio and the fans saved it from going away, and it's still going to this day, obviously. So, as I said, we can't really show it on camera, and I don't think I can have the audio playing in the yep. background. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video at, uh, immediately after we get done with this whole thing. And uh, I'm going to do a quick reaction from uh, from both of them because Steph hasn't seen any of In Space prior to this. And then we're going to play part two and we're going to get their final thoughts. All right. So we will see you guys in a little bit. All right. So that was the end of part one. TJ, what would you think? Boring. Boring. Kind of figured. The, 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 it, they were just a little too incompetent. The the everybody pretty much. <laughs> what do you think, baby? I can see them having set this up to be the end of the series. I can see that. Um, I'm not gonna get necessarily pass judgment on it because it was a kid show that no one had hope on. Honestly. More or less, yeah. Alright, so guys, we are going to um, watch part two. And we will be back with their final thoughts. And I will give TJ a bit of, a little bit of uh, further backstory on this. So, you guys, we will see you in a minute. Alright, so that was the end of, epi of the second part. TJ, other than the obvious boring, what did you think? <laughs> yeah, they all have... like three of them. Well, no, unless you count the bad guys. Which the bad guy, even the bad guys were pretty hot. <laughs> what did you think of uh, the humans basically sticking up for the Rangers and then joining them in the fight? That's basically what happened. <laughs> they couldn't do much, but that's basically what they did. Yeah. If what about you? Oh, go ahead. You were saying? If it wasn't for the fact that the whole... No one in that universe freaking has a gun. 
No one was had like any bats or anything like that, because you know they would have taken out a couple of them before they got captured. Yeah. But it's kind of those. At that point, you're just nitpicking, and at that point, you're just. Yeah. It's a kids show. Yeah. All right. What did you think? Oh, uh, it's. Again, it was kind of an end-all thing, which is what it was originally supposed to be. Yeah. Um, and it allowed for them to actually pick it back up and, and, and do what basically they had been doing. Basically start fresh. In, and basically do what they had been in, doing in Japan for years, was every single season was its own show. Yeah. Um, except for these most recent ones where you've, like have had two seasons be, in a sense, connected. Well, that's more Nickelodeon's fault. But that is still what they've done. Yeah. They're, they're seeming to try to go back to that formula, which, again, for about a couple seasons, it kind of works if you can edit it right. But the some of, some of it is kind of not edited right. And it becomes awkward when... Suddenly, creatures just kind of disappear off the face of the earth. Yeah. Okay, so, this is the end, this was the end of what is referred to as the Zordon era, which is basically, it basically encompasses the entirety of the first six seasons of Power Rangers, from Mighty Morphin Season 1 all the way until the end of In Space. From what you know of Power Rangers, which I know admittedly isn't a lot, do you see this as a fitting end to that era of the, of the show? TJ, we'll start with you. He wasn't paying attention. Basically, if it had stopped, if the whole series had stopped right there, would you have seen that as a fitting end? Okay, fair enough. It, I kind of didn't like the fact that one of the Megazords just kind of went down off screen. Because, like, he mentions that his Zord was destroyed, but we never actually see it happen. Baby, what about you? It's the whole suddenly, um... Bad guys that weren't originally people were well, were not originally human. I'm sorry. Suddenly became human because they were touched by goodness. Well, actually, it, Diva Tox, while not necessarily human, is actually more or less a human, just a humanoid, a humanoid alien. And Rita was originally just human, but she was a witch. Just like her Japanese counterpart was just a witch. She was human, but she was a witch. And how the fuck do you explain that? Be it's basically, it's a reason to keep them married. More or less. Yeah, which is kind of awkward, honestly. Because at least you could see it with her because it was her actress. Yeah. Well, no, that actually was Robert Axelrod. Uh, Zed after he But that's the touched. thing is you never actually see him. Right. If they had ever had at one point showing what he did look like at one point as a human or well, originally before he became corrupt well, then the it would have actually brought up something. That's the thing. Originally there was no backstory to Zed. He actually just came out of nowhere. He was not connected to the Japanese version of season well, two. He yeah. was an American only. Yeah, it's like it would have been interesting to have seen some backs, uh, background with Zed because they gave that opportunity. Yeah. But Especially they, with the end of that. But it, we don't hear hide or hair of him afterwards at all. Exactly. Okay, guys, so that is going to do it for us. Uh, we will come. We will be back next time after SummerSlam this Sunday with another loser challenge. In fact, we have to do our predictions after this. So stay Probably tomorrow. 
if if the if these two are up for it, we'll do it tonight. But and if and if not, because TJ said he, yeah, we'll do um we'll do a whisker while we're doing while we're doing them. So I'll probably just get your predictions and tell everybody on the stream. All right, but that is gonna do it for us for now, baby. Say bye to everybody. Bye to everybody. TJ. Yeah. All right. We will see you guys next time. Have a great night. We love you guys. Peace out, Warhawks Army.